that one from a side down. You right there, ladies and gents, how's it going? We're off on an adventure. As you can see, we're all loaded up with our camping gear. Up front, we've got Big Pezza on his tiny little Honda CT110. Uh, then uh, in the middle, we've got Phil 480 with his Triumph Tiger and myself at the rear on my pretty Touareg 660. We're heading over to Limington, going camping for the weekend. Um, it should be really nice, although I think on Sunday the weather's going to take a turn for the worst, um, possibly even Saturday night. So we might get a little bit soggy on one of the nights, but it's Friday today um, and tomorrow's meant to be lovely. So uh, should all be dandy. Obviously with Big Pez on the little CT110, uh, we're not going to be going any motorways. Not that we'd want to be doing them anyway, even if we were all on big bikes. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing all country roads, so I assume most of it will be like this. So it should be a really lovely ride. We reckon it's going to take us about half an hour longer than the sat-nav says, and my sat-nav reckons it was about two hours. So uh, yeah, two and a half hours to get down there, from Loomis that is. Um, yeah, already been riding just over an hour to get to Loomis. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an awesome, awesome weekend. Really looking forward to it. We're going to be going for a ride about on the Saturday, so tomorrow. Um, and do barbecues and shenanigans and stuff like that. I think the campsite is very close to the beach, if not next to the beach. So that should be really nice too. Even if the weather is gets a bit stormy, because like I love watching storms out over the water, if you know what I mean. So that could be quite cool. I do apologise if I'm shouting at you uh, or sounding funny or whatever. I'm wearing earplugs, which I don't normally do, but I know I should. And I thought with this one being a slightly longer run, it was worth sticking them on. My well, hay fever is massively playing up as well, so I will try and edit out any sneezes and sniffles. But yeah, hay fever is a, a pain in the neck um, for us sufferers. So uh, yeah, yeah, if any of you suffer, I feel for you, I really do. Man, this almost feels like we're green laning. <laughs> awesome, perfect route, nice one Pez, well done. It does know how to put a route together. I, I've said it before on my off-roading videos, but he really does know how to put a, a wonderful route together that suits almost any motorcycle. Brilliant stuff. What a glorious day though, eh? What a glorious day. I'm not sure what the actual ambient outdoors temperature is. Um, I don't trust the gauge on my Aprilia. Uh, it says earlier on that it was in the 40s and it definitely wasn't in the 40s. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've very much got all my vents open on this jacket and the front zip undone halfway as well. It is Scorchio, proper Scorchio. I'm quite envious of the others wearing civvies. Um, I mean, they were wearing, wearing all bike clothing. It's all proper bike clothing, but just urban stuff, you know. Um, and it's much more comfortable in that when the sun's out, because it's just cooler, cooler. Uh, but with the rain coming for Sunday, I just thought wearing this made sense because I can open the vents up while the sun's out, close them when it's raining, and hopefully get home without getting too soggy. I just filled this bike up uh, when we were at Luby's or just before going to Luby's and uh, yeah it wasn't empty it didn't even have the orange bit showing on the fuel gauge and it cost me over 30 quid. <laughs> it's just a bit silly for fuel at the moment over here. Crazy, crazy. I dread to think what an actual full tank on this would cost. Boy oh boy is it hot. It's hot hot hot. It's just ticked up to 30 degrees according to the uh, the temperature on this bike and uh, we've been riding for a while now so actually I think that is ambient temperature rather than uh, being affected by the motorbike particularly um, although it could be I guess but it is really scorchio uh, yeah glorious glorious weekend but I am so overdressed I'm having to uh, undo my jacket just to try and get some air on me it's one of the problems with having a bike with a fairing. <laughs> the screen sort of stops all the air getting at me. Um, yeah, yeah, it's quite incredible. Considering it's not very good for the helmet, it's brilliant for stopping me cooling down. <laughs> oh, Pezza mate, you picked at a blinder of a route. Absolute corker. It's all been roads like this or skinnier so far. And uh, yeah, our average speed has probably been about 35 miles an hour. Um, yeah, I think we've reached up to 44 at one point. 
Uh, but yeah, it's lovely. It's nice, just chilled out, just relaxing enjoyment of just being out in the countryside. Uh, yeah, it's quite spectacular. Um, yeah, I think when we're on faster bikes, we forget the pleasures of riding slowly. I do sometimes think that I would be better off on my CB100 for this trip, but it wouldn't be much fun with all the bags on it. Uh, I'd have definitely had to pack a bit lighter if I was on that. Um, but, but yeah, I could have done it. I could have done it. And I do still like the idea of taking that bike camping. I think uh, it could be quite good fun. But yeah, yeah, not this time. <laughs> but it almost feels like we're playing the, the left-right game. Because almost every junction we're zigzagging to keep us off the main roads which is exactly what we want, certainly with Pez on that bike, we don't want to be on any main roads with, with Pez on that bike particularly. Um, but as far as the views go, it's so much nicer being on all these back roads, it really, really is. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Oh my word, we've just stopped for a little uh, hydration break and uh, Pez pointed out that I hadn't undone the vent on the back of my jacket. So now I've undone the vent on the back of my jacket and I've opened up the vents on the front of it and on my trousers properly and oh my word that feels so much better <laughs> I'm actually getting air onto me now it's cooling me down Pez refuses to accept that it's 30 degrees oh I refuse to accept that I can't get around that corner gosh the trouble with knobblies is I don't have faith on tight tarmac corners <laughs> um, but yeah yeah so Pez doesn't believe that it's 30 degrees and we've started moving and my ambient temperature thing says it's 30 degrees so I'm going with 30. I know it's the UK but it's a blooming hot day, it's marvellous, awesome stuff, fantastical. I think we're now in what's called the New Forest in the UK. You know, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down. <laughs> 